How you guys doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're going to be looking at today is two twin 2019 Chevy Suburban 1500s that we built for the Clifton Animal Control. So taking a look at the front of the vehicles, we have the Centina PB450L with red sound off signal end forces in it. Those are in the front and the side. We also have the Centina headlight wraps. We have sound off signal hideaways mounted in the turn signal area. And we also have a headlight flasher that's on a park signal. And we also have a headlight flasher that we have on park kill right now. Taking a look at the top of the light bar, we have a sound off signal end force light bar. This light bar is in a 54 inch configuration. So we've installed a unity spotlight and then with the light bar, this is in a dual color configuration with the white scene light override function. So they have additional scene lighting in nighttime situations. So then with the graphics, we've redigitized their patch along with matched all the rest of the graphics to match their existing vehicles so that it matches their entire fleet. This is all done with 3M premium grade materials. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, up top we have an eight head sound off signal N4 stick. This is in tricolor. It has a white scene override that they can turn on manually or it goes on when the vehicle is put in reverse for additional scene lighting. It's got an amber arrow stick that overrides it and then it also flashes red and blue. In the tail lights we've installed a sound off signal tail light flasher. We've replaced the OEM bulb with an LED version to provide additional warning to the back over what you traditionally have with a halogen bulb. So taking a look at with the hatch of the vehicle open we've installed two four inch sound off signal M power lights in a red and amber combination to provide scene lighting when the hatch of the vehicle is opened up. And then what we also have is a rock bracket with a three inch M power installed in it. This provides scene lighting to the back area. And what we've done for them to prep the car for them is we've removed all the seats, the third row and the second row. We've changed the flooring out to vinyl flooring from carpet. And then we've plugged all the holes up in it so that they're able to install their own canine system that they already have, which is just a bunch of kennels. Okay, so with the second row door open, we've installed Centina window barriers, and then we've also installed another three inch M power in white with a rock bracket that allows them to angle the light into the area where they're gonna be putting the kennels. We've also installed a Centina partition that will protect them from any equipment that is stored in the back that may fly forward in the event of an accident. One thing that we did with this vehicle is we installed an intermotive upfitter module to give us all the signals for the door open, the hatch open, the park signal, and a couple other features. This module didn't require us to splice into the, any of the vehicle's electrical system, so that way we don't have to worry about any warranty issues later on with the dealership or any other issues with the vehicle's electrical system because everything's completely separate. So a couple of things that we've done to the interior is we have a hint mount laptop dock with a universal docking station. We have a handheld siren and light controller that we're going to be mounting with them once they come to pick the vehicle up along with their radio mic. And then we've also installed a 12 volt uh, cigarette plug adapter on the side of the console that will give them additional power for any other equipment that they're going to be carrying. We've brought our electrical panel on the back of the partition behind the seat, which will give us better accessibility to the electronics once they have all the canine equipment installed in the back there's really going to be no accessible location for it so this was the best next suited spot for that if you like what you see check out our website www.1075vehicles.com and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you thanks for checking out our video and don't forget to follow us on instagram facebook and youtube leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel we appreciate your attention and support thank you